A paddle boat is a small recreational vessel perfect for a leisurely ride on a lake. It gets its name from the rotating paddle wheel which propels it. You simply sit in the seat and turn the paddle wheel by pedaling, which is why this type of boat is also called a pedal boat or pedalo. Steered by a rudder and gliding on two floaters, a paddle boat delivers a smooth, relaxing ride. Boat mechanics don't get much simpler than this. In a typical two-seater, two sets of pedals, each powering a paddle wheel at the rear. The factory molds the top and bottom halves of each floater separately. First, workers spray the mold with gel coat, a type of polyester. Next, they cover the entire mold with fiberglass cloth, then add a second layer in the front and bottom, where the floater will be a bit thicker. Then they lower a cover onto the mold, latching it down securely to make the mold airtight. They draw a vacuum to extract the air trapped inside. Then inject liquid resin. The resin saturates the fiberglass cloth and within an hour hardens, producing solid fiberglass, a lightweight material that's both impact resistant and waterproof. After extracting this half, workers mold the other half of this floater and the two halves that make up the other one. They apply fiberglass glue to the edges and carefully align and mate top and bottom. They position spacers to put pressure on the base of the groove, then clamp the perimeter for about 45 minutes until the glue sets. When the glue is completely dry, they trim the perimeter to make the edge neat and smooth. To make each propulsion wheel, workers rivet eight blades to a fiberglass hub. These strong plastic blades do have some flex in them. This ensures they won't break should the wheel hit a rock or other obstacle. The part of the boat where you sit and pedal is called the bicycle. The two bike bodies, like the floaters, are made of molded fiberglass, then jazzed up with decals. Since the bicycle mechanics are routinely exposed to water, they must be rust resistant. Therefore, the pedal mechanism is made of chrome plated steel and the chains of steel that's been treated with an anti corrosion coating. Each bike has two chains the first linking the pedals to one side of a central gear, the second linking the other side of the central gear to the propulsion wheel. So, once they're both hooked up, Pedaling moves the first chain, which rotates the gear, which moves the second chain, which turns the wheel. Final assembly is relatively simple. First, workers connect the floaters with three painted aluminum crossbars. The paint is baked on to make it extra durable. Then, on one of the crossbars, they install a pair of aluminum rudders, the boat's steering mechanism. They link the rudders with an aluminum bar so that they move in unison. A hitch pin locks the bar securely in place, while this rubber cap prevents paint chipping when the rudders hit the crossbar. After mounting the first bicycle, workers install a console in the center of the boat. It contains a waterproof storage compartment and the handle which directs the rudders. It connects to the rudders with a long bar called a tiller. Next, they mount the second bike. Like the first one, it's designed to snap securely onto the crossbars. The adjustable fiberglass seats slide onto aluminum rails. The seats have fixed cushions in rugged waterproof fabric. The boat's retractable canopy is made of the same fabric on an aluminum structure. A paddle boat is virtually maintenance free. You just have to oil the mechanisms a couple of times per season and from then on it's smooth sailing. <laughs>